XC-97, an Army Air Force's answer to problems of long-range, high-volume transportation. Practically a B-29 with a double fuselage, it was first flight tested on 9th November 1944. Two months later, it broke all records in the large airplane class by flying from Seattle to Washington in six hours, three minutes, and 50 seconds. Three separate compartments in two decks give it nearly as much cargo space as two railroad boxcars. A ramp, which can be extended or retracted in less than a minute, is motivated by a monorail lift. This electric traverse hoist operates the full length of the main cabin on the upper deck. The hoist is used for direct lifting, load positioning, and towing. The ramp is adjustable in width and slope to accommodate vehicles of various tread and height. The entire fuselage is pressurized to maintain 4,000-foot atmospheric pressure up to 22,000 feet. According to Boeing figures, the fuselage has a total volume of 7,066 cubic feet, of which 89% can be used for cargo. Illustrating a few of many loading possibilities. The C-97 can carry 134 fully equipped infantrymen. Range, 1,820 miles. Another possibility, two Type T9E1 tanks, 500 gallons of gasoline for the armored vehicles, and 25 fully equipped troops. Range, 770 miles. Another combination, 75 litter casualties, four medical personnel, litters, and medical supplies. The C-97 can fly this load 3,500 miles. Lower compartment doors swing to the ground, making their self-contained stairs available for rapid personnel loading. The transport has the same wingspan as the B-29, but is 11 feet longer and has a five foot greater overall height. This X model is powered by four 2200 horsepower engines, but production specifications call for engines of 2450 horsepower. 320 miles per hour is the present cruising speed. Boeing engineers expect to add 30 miles to that. By way of comparison, the Lockheed C-69 has a range of 3,700 miles. The C-47, 1,550. The XC-97 has a maximum range on built-in tankage of 5,173 miles. <laughs>